Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to create email profiles configuration or configured email profiles in Intune. So now let's get started. First of all, you need to go into your Azure portal and then Intune, you go to Intune portal. What you need to do is click on device configuration. And under device configuration, you want to click on profiles. I'm going to create email profiles for Windows 10. So click on create profiles and then select platform. Here are the options available for you. You have to create each profiles. You have to create profiles for each platform. For example, Android Enterprise, iOS, Mac OS, Windows 10 or later. In this video, I'm going to create Windows 10 or later email profiles. I'm going to select profiles and then I'm going to select email. And then click on create. I get this basic windows, the name of the email profiles configuration. I'm going to call this Windows 10 email profile. The description, I'm going to leave it open, I leave it blank. Click next. So this is very important. If you use, if you still on, still using an on-premise exchange server, you're going to have to enter the the external um, email address here. So since I'm on Outlook or Exchange Online, I'm going to put in Outlook dot Office 365 dot com. This is the same for all Outlook profiles, I mean um, Exchange Online profiles. Account name, you can name anything you want. As you can see here, Active Exchange Active Sync account name or deploy username as. So I'm going to call this corporate email. Username attribute. Here's are some options available. If you use uh, USPN, which is UP, I'm sorry, UPN as the the login credentials, and then you choose this one. But if you're using uh, Primary SMTP as the login, you have to choose this. And if you're using SAM account, you're going to have to use SAM account here. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, USPN. UPN, I'm sorry, UPN. Okay, that's for username. And the email address is going to be the same. Microsoft recommended that the primary SMTP and UPN should be matched. Best practice. So that's it for the top part. The second part um, for security SSL, I'm going to leave it as enable. For security risk or security reason, you want to enable SSL. Synchronization, control how much email to store on the device and how often to connect to the server. You don't have to configure this if you are on Exchange um, Online. The same thing with uh, Sync Schedule. I'm going to leave that unconfigured. Not configured. Content type to sync. You want to you want to sync contacts, calendars, tasks. I'm recommending that you enable all these. And then, once you're happy with all the settings, you can go ahead and click next. Scope tags. I don't. I'm not going to configure scope tags, so I'm going to leave it out. Next. Assignment, where you want to deploy this email profile to. You want it to deploy to all users, all devices, or all users and all devices. 
or you can select groups to deploy to. I'm going to select I'm going to select my test group which is Intune Testers. Click on it and then as you can see it's selected and then click select. If you want to choose if you want to exclude certain groups, you can do that by selecting selected or oh, select groups to exclude here. It's it has to be a security groups. So you can go in and if you want to exclude HR, you can choose HR and select. And you want to go and click next. The application rules, you can configure the application rule. You want to assign assign profile if OS versions equals to blah 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 or you can create or don't assign profiles if OSD version is blah 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 there's options here if OSD edition is Windows Home editions for example and you want to click next I'm going to delete the top one and leave the don't assign profile if OS version is home edition. Well, well, we sh I should remove this because you want to give user to um, check their emails from home. So they might using home edition. So I'm not going to configure application rules. Next, I want to review. Here is the summary. The name of the profiles, which is Windows 10 email and the descriptions blank configuration setting contacts on calendars on tasks on schedule since schedule not configure email server if it's if it's wrong you want to go back and change it account name it's corporate account username it's pretty basic so this is very important the username um, attribute from ad or and the email address from ad you want to click create So now the email uh, email profile has been created. And if I go back to device configuration profiles, I can see Windows 10 email profiles shows up here. And platform for Windows 10 or later, pro profile type, it's an email. Assign is yes. And last modify. And if I want to delete, I just click on this three ellipses. I get this options to delete or I can upgrade the assign scope tags. And if I want to make changes to it, all I have to do is just click on it and go to properties. And I can make the changes here. I can change the name by click on edit and I can change the configuration settings by clicking, clicking on edit here scope tab assign it's all available for me to configure it assign you want to assign to a different group you can do that here by clicking on the edit once you deploy you can you can monitor the status of the deployment by going to the device settings or uh, device status that it's going to show what devices receive um, the profiles so it's going to give you the device name user principal name deploy status and last update also under user status it's going to give you the username device account devices count how many um user uh, how many devices that this user um apply this profile to so you're going to see under one username with a bunch of uh, computers or yeah computers since it's windows 10. per setting status some information on settings um, status here settings device compliant conflicts pending errors not applicable so so that's it folks that's how you create email profiles in intune for windows 10 like i say 
you have to create email profile for every platform that you support. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.